Today I want to go over briefly dehydration. Dehydration causes, signs, uh, best way to test for it and um, best treatment options in terms of dehydration. Uh, I don't personally wish dehydration on anyone. I don't know if you've ever experienced it, but it is not pleasant. Uh, last year, prior to Thanksgiving, I got violently ill and was unable to keep any fluids down of, of any kind. My body stopped taking in fluids. They went in, they immediately came back out. And eventually, because of the lack of intake of fluid, my kidneys shut down. I ended up in the hospital. Uh, it was very painful, not a pleasant experience. So dehydration is a bad thing. Um, you don't want to experience it. But what we talk about dehydration, we, the main cause is, of course, lack of water intake or excessive loss of water or high solute load. In my case, I had both of those, a lack of fluid intake and an excessive loss of fluid because I was sick. And uh, this can be especially dangerous in children um, if they become violently ill and they have vomiting or diarrhea. You can lose a great deal of fluid in a very short amount of time. So anyway, dehydration, lack of water intake, excessive loss of water, uh, it comes about due to sickness, it can come about because someone doesn't drink enough water and then they sweat a great deal or because of their diet and other things they have a high level of solute in their blood, a high level of things dissolved in it of uh, various types and this can cause dehydration as the fluids get all out of balance. Signs that someone has dehydration uh, include fever, sweating, hyperventilation, rapid weight loss, decreased urine output, and in my case last year, zero output, um, the kidneys just shut down. Poor skin turgor. Uh, skin turgor basically is if you pull up the skin on the back of your hand or behind the arm, you pull it up, tent it up and let go. If you have good turgor, it goes back to its original place rapidly. If it goes back to its original position slowly, this is poor skin turgor. So dehydration, uh, poor skin turgor tends to be a sign of that. And then increase in the solutes. Uh, things like uh, serum uric acid lab values uh, go up and those sorts of things. Anyway, uh, the best lab assessment for dehydration is to test for uh, serum sodium. Now, normal level is 136 to 145. If it's outside of that, then you have a strong case for dehydration. Uh, the best treatment for dehydration, the best way to rehydrate the body is to take water orally by mouth or to put a 5% dextrose solution in the water. Um, in my case, my body was unable to process it and so it had to go in intravenously, but the best way to treat dehydration is drink lots of water.